Welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome back to another weekend full of football. It is another fixture here, Alaves against Barcelona. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about everything Ronald Koeman said in his press conference just a short time ago, where he spoke, of course, about the good feeling right now amongst the squad after that important win against Juventus with the likes of Pedri and Ansu Fati once again, very much so the topic of conversation, but also why there was no room in the squad for Ricky Pooch. It's all coming up in today's video. Let's get to it. Because like I say, first of all, Ronald Koeman was very much asked about the good feeling among the squad right now. How are the players feeling in the dressing room? Are you feeling as though there is a lot more confidence right now, given everything that's happened this week? Koeman responded. He said, we saw a lot of improvements against Juventus. He said, we played a very, very good match. He said it wasn't perfect. And I do like that there, that Koeman has realised that, yeah, it was very good, but not perfect. He said, because we did make some mistakes in front of goal, you know, in terms of finishing. He said, we're still finding, though, some very good positions and that's a good thing. So Kuman there admitting, as he did after the game, that he would have liked to have seen the team kill the game much, much sooner. But of course, he had to be asked about Pedri. That performance against Juventus, the way that he carried himself, the way that he absolutely turned Cuadrado inside out. And he has been the talk of the entire city in Barcelona, and of course worldwide too. But in the papers, they've really been writing about him. And Kuman there was asked about whether Pedri can handle the media spotlight. Is he going to be prepared for that kind of attention? Kuman's answer was reassuring. He said Pedri is a normal kid. He said he's very humble. He said, I don't think all the press we've seen after the game is going to get to him. He said it's only normal that they're going to focus on him because of the way that he's playing right now. He played in the Classico, then he played against Juventus, and he played very, very well. He said, but he's got his feet on the ground. And he said it's up to us, too, to keep his feet on the ground. Another youngster, though, who, of course, has gone through all of that already. We are very much familiar with seeing Ansu Fati in the media. Tomorrow will be his 18th birthday. It's incredible that he is still not even 18 years old yet. And Kuma was asked there what he would say to Ansu ahead of that birthday. He said, well, I'd say to keep working and keep improving. He said, yesterday I was actually with him for a little while. He said we were talking. He said we spoke about where he can improve. And one of those areas is concentration. Because whenever he loses the ball, it's only a case of concentration concentration and certainly not a matter of quality. And Koeman said he has our help to improve every single day. We need to take care of him. And I do like that about Koeman, the fact there that he is quite open with what players need to improve right throughout this press conference and all of the press conferences so far this season. He's been very, very open about players who need to do better, what they need to do, and quite clearly, is not scared about telling them. And one man indeed who's been on the receiving end of that, certainly in the season so far, has been Antoine Griezmann. Kuman was asked there about the fact that he was more involved against Juventus, and he was asked whether Griezmann is feeling better right now as a Barcelona player. And Kuman said, if you win a match, he said, you do notice there's a better feeling, not just in Griezmann, but in all the players. There's a good ambiance, he said, in the dressing room right now. He said, I've got no complaints at all about Griezmann's attitude. He said he was very, very unlucky against Juventus, and he said, with a little luck on his side, he is going to score. And he said, then we can all relax. Another Frenchman who was on the agenda in today's press conference was, of course, Usman Dembele, scorer of that deflected goal, but a brilliant goal nonetheless against Juventus. Kuman was asked there how he's seen Dembele and what he's given the team so far. Kuman said Usman has influenced the game a lot in his performances when he's been given the game time this season. He said he's creative, he's fast, he can play in one-on-one -on -one situations, and it was really, really important there, I feel. Kuman said, I think the team needs a player like him. He creates space with his runs. Of course, you want to avoid him injuries with Dembele, but he's physically stronger than before, and he trains really, really well. And that's very reassuring for me. We should be seeing Dembele as a regular feature in this team. We all saw what he could do against Juventus, the different opportunities that he can give our team in attack. And I am really pleased to hear that from Ronald Koeman. Then there was the subject of Serginho Dest, an interesting question there, because of course Dest didn't play against Juventus in came Sergio Roberto, even despite Dest's brilliant display against Real Madrid. And Koeman said, I'm really happy with what I've been seeing from Serginho. He said he's still, of course, a very young player, but you all saw his quality against Real Madrid. He said the decision was always going to be, though, to play Sergio Roberto against Juventus. He said because he did start the season very well, and there was no real need to just cast him aside. He said there's really good competition on that right side, and and they're going to keep pushing each other. And the question will be, who starts at right back? 
this Saturday. Then there was a few injury updates from Ronald Koeman. He was asked about the availability and the fitness of Mark andre Ter Stegen. He said Mark is back in training since yesterday. That's brilliant news. He said he's okay. He's doing absolutely fine. He said he still has a little way to go before he can play, but we hope he'll be ready to play soon. I don't want to put a date on it. He needs more training before he'll be fully fit. And that's good news there to see Ter Stegen back in training. Of course, he's been out for a few months, so he's going to need a bit more time to get fully back into the swing of things. But hopefully, we can see him between the sticks soon. Then, of course, there's the subject of Samuel and Titi. Kuman said he's not ready to play just yet. He did part of the training session yesterday and also today, and he's almost ready a few days to go before he can fully train with the group. He said it's not long that we have to wait for that, but he still needs a lot more training before he can be considered ready to play. And, of course, at centre-back, we did suffer, sadly, another injury against Juventus to Ronald Araujo, who is going to miss this game, and he is currently out out with that problem, but Ronald Koeman was asked there what he sees of Araujo in the future, what sort of player can he become? And Koeman said Ronald has a big future, he's got great quality in defence, he's fast, he's strong, he's got a level head too. He said in the minutes he's played, he's shown that we can count on him. He said, I'm very happy, but it's a shame, of course, that he's injured right now, but we hope that he'll be back soon. But that injury, of course, does leave us light. At centre-back. And of course, one of the big talking points, like I said there, from this press conference and indeed ahead of this weekend's match has been the exclusion of Ricky Pooch from the match day squad. And we were all wondering, is there an injury? Is there a problem there? But Ronald Koeman confirmed here, he said, no, it's a tactical decision. He said in various pre-season games, he said, we've taken 23 players and I think that's too many away from home. He said, we need 20 players to travel, 21 absolute maximum. He said, I'd rather that players players stay home and train intensely rather than travelling if they aren't even going to play. And that was what he said with regard to Rookie Pooch, who, like I say, hasn't been included. And I think for all of us Barcelona fans, knowing what Pooch can do, being that young player that we all do really, really enjoy watching and are excited by, certainly, it is a shame to see him not only not playing, but not even in the squad. That is a really, really big blow there. And I think the one thing that I'm going to be looking for after this game is all about the Champions League next week. We've got Dinamo Kiev at home. Could that be an opportunity there for Pooch to get some minutes? I really hope so, because he deserves it. And it's a sad way to see him out. And now, not even on the sidelines. Finally, though, Ronald Koeman was asked a number of times about the upcoming election, about Bartomeu's exit, and of course, how that affects his position at the club. It was said there that Koeman had asked for time, he'd asked for calm. Is he going to get that now with all of this stuff going on in the background? Koeman said, what I don't want to do is talk about individual candidates. He said, that's not my area. I've said before, I don't really want to go into this too much, and it's nothing to do with me. He said, my only job is to help the club and to win. He said, whatever happens in the future, we will see. So that right there, guys, is the latest from Ronald Koeman ahead of Alaves against Barcelona. There is plenty more, of course, coming up on both channels, More Talk FCB and Talk FCB. Please do make sure you're staying up to date on both ahead of what should be a good game for us tomorrow. I'm excited for it, and hopefully we can end the week in perfect fashion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on everything that Kuman has said there, from Ricky Pooch to Pedri to Ansu Fati, Griezmann to... Let me know all of those thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, I'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca.